What does the government mean that it has to shut down for lack of funds? You mean to tell me all of the taxes that are being extorted from American citizens wasn't enough to sustain them? How about an operating budget? Uh, nope, they didn't have one of those. This government has been operating like a crack house. This isn't news. This foreign corporation, the, New the United States government, has been bankrupt since 1933. The same year that we were made enemies of this government and were put under national emergency, which subsequently dissolved this the Constitution. This is why they do whatever the hell that they want to do to us. $1.3 trillion in pork pet projects that has nothing to do with jobs or the economy. I want to read something to you real quick. It is an established fact that the United States federal government has been dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act of 1933. It was declared by President Roosevelt being bankrupt and insolvent, and a joint resolution suspended the gold standard and abrogated the gold clause, and this dissolved the sovereign authority of the United States and the official capacities of all United States governmental offices, officers, and departments, and is further evidence that the United States federal government exists today in name only. All right? It declared bankruptcy in 1933, and it lost its, and it lost its sovereignty. All right? Title 28, 3002 states that all departments of the United States corporations are a part of the corporation. The fictional United States corporation still exists on paper as a commercial enterprise with immense debt to foreign bankers from World War I expenses. From now on, depressions will be scientifically created, and this was stated by Congressman Charles Lindbergh in 1913 after the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 was passed when on Christmas Eve. I mean, we already know that the United States is still a British colony and it is, and it is extorting taxes for the crown. The real principle, the King of England, still rules America through the foreign bankers, the Federal Reserve. We need to start our own courts of God's natural law, which is the common law. So all of the histrionics and the hoopla about the, the, this foreign federal government going bankrupt and having to close down is another ploy to divert our attention from the social justice freaks attempting to, to slip past all kinds of bullcrap um, during this lame duck session before their sorry time is up. I mean, you know, uh, these Democrats and, and some of the Republicans, I told you they can't be trusted either. Um, these guys are some real maggots, you know. We just need to restore ourselves to the common law. We need to make this federal government walk back to uh, its jurisdiction and where they have re the, the, the regulatory um, uh, authority to, to impose all, kind of, all kinds of legislation. It's, not, it's, it's only within the first the 10 miles outside of D.C., its territories and its possessions, not the continental United States. We've been, uh, you know, slaving for this foreign government for, for the past few centuries. And the main thing is that these guys know what they're doing up there. This is all uh, another game. This is part of part of their play and part of their game book. So um, you guys just uh, keep your eyes open. Don't let nothing slip past you because they're doing whatever they can to, to try to enact as many social justice, justice entitlements that they can before they get kicked out on their cans the way that they should have been. I mean, we really need a whole do-over of the entire system because it was never set up for us to, 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 to gain any type of advantage or, or to, um, to ensure that our national security and, our, and the American public is being taken care of. That's not what this was instituted for. This was for them to take advantage of us. And it's been too long, people. Peace.